Hey guys, how's it going? It's Etanius here. Welcome to this NHL 24 tutorial on how to deke. Today we are going to be going over all 21 dekes from basic to intermediate all the way to advanced dekes based on how I've divided them up on difficulty. And I'm going to be showing you the controls for them, I'm going to be showing you an in game example of them, and giving you my feedback on anything that I think you need to know as an NHL 24 player that is going to affect you when doing these dekes. And just before we jump into it, if you guys find this video helpful or engaging in any way, feel free to drop a like. Also consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. So starting things off, we have the most basic deke out of all the basic dekes in stick handling. And what you're going to be using here is the right stick. This is still a aspect of controls called skill stick. As most of you guys know now, NHL 24 this year added a new system called Total Controls, which is where you just have face buttons for certain specific controls. Now, all of the basic deeks we're going to go over don't use these face buttons, but the right stick and stick handling with skill stick is still what we're going to be using. It's been around since 2006 or NHL 07. So that's 17 years now, so they're not getting rid of this system anytime soon by the sounds of it. But yes, that is the first and easiest deke is just simply stick handling. Next thing we're going to use is shielding the puck, and shielding the puck is going to come down to, again, stick handling with the right stick, but this time you're going to be pushing down as you would be sprinting in most first-person shooter games like Call of Duty, and you're going to be pushing down on the left stick, so yes, you're going to be using both joysticks to move your guy around the ice and shield the puck. So the third deke we're going to be talking about is the simple deke or the loose puck deke, and what you're going to be using here on the controller is left bumper or L1 on PlayStation, and it's just going to do a quick little kind of spin move with the puck on your blade. You're not really going to move it much, but it's going to kind of do a little deke there. The next deke we have is the slip deke, and this one is again going to be LB or L1. It's just you're going to be moving along the boards this time. It's a situational difference in your player position. And this is going to let your guy kind of slip past defenders that are trying to hit you. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't get past them, but it's a very useful deke if you are driving the puck down the wall. Next up, we have the Spinorama. This one's super easy. You're just going to be hitting left trigger or L2 on PlayStation, and this is going to get your guy to spin. Of course, this is in combination with your left stick movement. So if you want to spin left with the Spinorama, you're going to be moving your left stick left. If you want to spin right, you're going to be moving your left stick to the right. Simple as that. And finally, for basic dekes, we have the drop pass, and this one is not so much a deke, but more so a play, but again, super simple. All you're going to be doing is hitting right bumper or R1 on PlayStation, and this is going to just drop the puck off your teammate. You can do this at your own blue line, at your opponent's blue line, and probably go offside, but again, super simple, super easy to use. So on to the intermediate dekes now, and these are going to be the majority of the dekes here. There is the most out of any of the sections here. And starting things off, we have toe drags. So toe drags, you're just simply going to be moving your right stick down and to the side. So you're just going to pull it to whatever handedness your players. If you want to do an inside toe drag, you're going to be pushing it with Makar to the right. If you were using a left-handed player, you'd be pushing the right stick to the left. And then you're going to drag the joystick down and around in a counterclockwise or clockwise motion, depending on your player's handedness. And then, of course, you can do this the opposite way, too, where you can do a backhand toe drag where you deke the puck outside, you kind of do a push to the outside with your player as you can see there. Since Austin Matthews came into the league and started scoring all of his toe drag goals, NHL has tried to repeat and implement that into their game, so it's super easy to score with toe drag goals this year. Next up we have the Datsuk heel drag. I call this a heel drag because you're not using the toe of your stick, you're using the entire backside of the blade. And this can be done either with total controls this year or with just your regular skill stick setup from previous NHLs. So the regular skill stick controls is going to be left bumper or L1 on PlayStation. Then you're going to be pushing the right stick down as you're holding the bumper. And you're going to be pulling that joystick down and a way to do the drag. That's super simple as far as doing it in total controls goes. If you want to shoot out of this, you simply just press X or square on PlayStation and it's just going to drag the puck back and then shoot it. If you want to cancel that, then you hit left bumper after you press X or square. So you'll press the button and then press the bumper. And it's a very quick motion, but you can't press them at the same time. Otherwise, it messes up the whole deke. And of course, you can pass out of this too. Again, you just hit the right trigger or R2. And that would then pass out of this deke once you've already pressed X. So onto the Datsuk heel drag flip. And the only different combination you're going to be using this time is you're going to be pressing the right bumper after you use all the previous controls I just talked about. 
So you can again just go X and then write bumper and it'll do a flick, um, which you guys have seen Dadsuk score like that before. Nick Suzuki does a very similar move sometimes too, but that's just another application of it, but a very interesting way to use it because you can score that way. On to the next deke and we have windmill or strag deeks. I call them windmill deeks in the game, in the tutorial and settings for the control it says stride deeks, but this is simple as far as you're gonna be moving your left stick for player movements, but you're gonna be pressing down left bumper while you move your right stick in the same direction that you're moving your player. So if you want your player to do a stride deke to the right, you're gonna be holding left bumper, then you're gonna go right stick and left stick to the right. If you wanna to go to the left, you're gonna go with both joysticks to the left. And it's really that simple. Again, L1 on PlayStation, left bumper. You guys are getting the controls. If you don't understand it, let me know below and I'll try to explain it to you better in the comments. Next up, we have the board chip. And the board chip is a very rare play. I hardly ever see it in NHL, but it's super easy to use as far as you're going to use left trigger and right bumper at the same time as your player is skating up the boards. This will then launch your player back off of the boards while chipping the puck off the boards. And it's a really good, quick, and easy way to get your player around defenders without getting hit. Furthermore now, we have the back of the net deke, and this one is super fun if you can pull it off properly. It does take some concentration and timing, but it's not super difficult for controls. You're going to be using left bumper and right trigger on Xbox or L1 and R2 on PlayStation. And then you're going to have to use your left stick to reverse your player's movement as soon as they get behind the net and you hit those two buttons. So as you can see, it's pretty easy for me to pull off with Makar coming off of the right side. Off of the left side, it's a little bit more sluggish, but you can still do it. So just think about that as far as, you know, Left-handed players are usually usually going to be coming off of the left side of the ice to do this move, while right-side play or right-handed players will come off of the right side of the ice to pull this same move off because it's just quicker with the backhand. The backhand is a quick little tap, whereas the forehand your guy kind of has to spin all the way around and it takes longer. Next up, we have the jump deke, and this one only really applies when you have a defender sliding on the ice at you or maybe trying to hip check you. But honestly, I feel like if you jump deke into a hip check, you're still going to go flying. So. Don't try to do that most of the time, but this is just going to be left bumper while flicking your right stick up, or L1 while flicking your right stick up on PlayStation. Super simple again, not much to it, and you can see how easy it is to do that as I'm just flipping my car all around the ice. It looks hilarious. After that, we have the skate kick, and this one is actually a fairly useful deke because you can fake goalies out with it sometimes. You can fake actual defenders if you're playing online. Um, but you're going to be using left bumper and then flicking your right stick down into your feet and that's going to take your player and tap the puck into their skates. If you want to change which direction and which side you're going, use your left stick. So if you want to tap the puck into your skates and move to the left to beat the defender, you push your joystick left on the uh, left stick. And if you want to go right, vice versa. Super simple again, but very effective. And finally, for the last intermediate level deke, we have the through the legs pull. I don't actually know what the term is for this, but what you're going to be using is the right stick. You're going to push it to the side and back a little ways, not enough to actually trigger a slap shot animation because your player will sometimes go into a slap shot motion and try to shoot the puck, which is not what you want. Instead, you're going to try to aim this right stick down to about four or five o'clock out of the entire circle. And then you're going to press left bumper while letting go of that joystick or releasing it. And it will then pull the puck through your guy's legs and up forward. And it's a very fun deke to pull off. It's actually one of the most effective intermediate level dekes here as well. You can use it all the time if you get your player in the right position. So that's it for intermediate dekes. On to advanced dekes now. And advanced dekes are a little bit more tricky than the intermediate ones not too much trickier but definitely take more skill precision and timing than all of those intermediate deeks so the first deek we have is the one-handed deek and this one is a little bit strange based on the fact that it doesn't get used very often it's a bit of a strange and glitchy motion even though it doesn't use total controls and you have to time this one perfectly you're going to be using your player has to be on their backhand side and then you're going to press left bumper while moving your joystick from nine to three or three to nine so the first one would be clockwise motion the second one would be counterclockwise motion it depends on which way you're moving your player and their handedness so like a left-handed player is going to have to have the puck over on the right side of their body 
right-handed player like Makar that you can see is going to have to have the puck on the left side of his body. On to the between the legs deke, and they changed this one up fully this year. It used to be pretty much a completely different setup as far as how you used to pull this move off. It used to be you'd push right stick down while holding left bumper. This year now, that does a fake shot, and a fake shot technically is a deke, I guess, as far as you can freeze the goalie, but it doesn't do the between the legs deke like it used to. This year, it's only on total control, so you have to use B or circle, and it occupies that button on your total control settings. If you want to just fake or deke out of this, you're going to press B and then left bumper really quickly to cancel actually shooting the puck. If you just press B, it'll shoot the puck, and if you want to pass, you'll press B and use the right trigger or R2 to pass out of that deke. So that's the three variations of it. It's fairly simple, but it all comes down to your timing, of course, and application of it. So that's why I put it in advanced is yes, anybody can mash the B button, but it's really how you use it. So on to our second last D here, and we have the one handed tuck. And again, this one is going to come down to a total controls usage, and it's going to be A on the Xbox or X on PlayStation. You can actually do this deke with the other controls still that aren't total controls, and I personally find it easier that way. So the reason for this is because you have to aim your player extremely precisely when you're using total controls versus when you're using the regular controls or skill stick controls. You can aim your player a little bit better and position them a little bit better with the right stick because then you're just pressing right bumper and left bumper, or R1 and L1, once you've kind of committed your player to the one side, and then by pressing the two bumpers together, it'll swap the motion of where the puck is and tuck the puck into the net, as you can see. And the final deke we have, and really it's one that I personally struggled with for years as far as getting to pull it off, and I've honestly kind of bugged it out, is the Michigan or lacrosse deke. And this one, again, is very strange as far as they just took all the other control systems out of it and now you can only pull it off by using total control or Y. If you're playing on skill stick, then there's a super complicated method to do that, but this year it's a lot easier to actually try and score with this. You can even score forehand lacrosse goals or Michigan's this year and it's kind of stupid, honestly. You can sometimes even score from the front or you can pull off the Zgrass pass where you go behind the net, press Y, and then press right trigger or R1, and that will flip the puck right out in front of the net, which is always a dangerous chance and situation. Sometimes the goalie will kind of catch it or block it or chip it off, but it doesn't happen too often. But that is it for this NHL 24 deking tutorial. Hopefully you guys learned a lot from it, and again, show your support with a like, subscription, and feel free to leave comments or questions down below in that box. But that is it for me, and I will see you guys in the next one.